you know, one of the things that I can do while I'm, you know, just basically sitting here waiting out the rain or, you know, it's early in the morning, whatever the case may be, or even in the evening time, um, is I can maintain my tools. You know, I had my tools out in the rain yesterday. I had my axe out processing squirrel with it yesterday um, by the uh, water's edge out here, and I got it wet. So maintaining your tools is an important thing that you need to do while you're in camp or in any situation, whether it's short-term or long-term self-reliance. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick, I'm going to do a full review on axes, tomahawks, belt axes, and things like that in a future date. But one of the things I wanted to explain to you real fast um, while I had this axe out, this is a Gransfors Brooks Hunter's Axe, okay? And the difference between the Gransfors Brooks Hunter's Axe and the 19-inch Wetterlings Hunter's Axe that I carry um, on my bushcraft pack is that this one is actually made for a hunter. Um, it's not just called a hunter's axe. It actually has... Uh, gnarls cut into the handle. It has checkering cut into the handle to give you a better grip. I don't know if you can see it on video or not, but they're definitely there um, from about this far down. Um, the other thing about this axe is the hammer pole on the back is rounded instead of square. And the reason it's rounded off is it's for beating hide off of a large game animal. So if you're pulling that hide away, you can beat it off the meat with this round pole and it kind of forces in between there and peels the hide off of that animal. So this axe was actually made for hunters. Um, you know, I'm just going to use uh, some steel wool and a rag um, to dress this with. One of the things that I wanted to show you this morning, um, if you'll remember when I had Jeremy over here not very long ago, we were talking about a waterproofing formula that he was going to work on and duplicate, and then we were going to try to sell that down the line on our website for people who didn't want to try to reproduce it on their own. And he brought a sample of that over today, and I'm going to use it on my axe. But then this is just a sample cake of what he made. But what this is, I'll tell you now, it is 100, it's lard, that's unsalted, pure processed lard, it's beeswax, and it's vitamin E. And the reason the vitamin E is in there is to make it more multi-purpose. As it is now, it can be used for a leather dressing, a tool dressing, a waterproofing for your boots, and all of those types of things. It can also be used for a candle, um, a coal extender, like that. Um, but now, because it's got the vitamin E in it, it can also be used really good for like a lip balm, you know, ointment type of thing. Because it's got that vitamin E in it, it's going to help your skin. So it's real good for those types of things as well. You can also use it to wax your traps, wax your bowstring, you know, take care of your wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my steel wool and just basically grind it into this cake. And it's pretty, I mean, it's not soft enough you can squeeze it, but it's definitely, you can feel that it's a little bit pliable. And then I'm just going to scrub the head of my axe with that real good. And that's going to knock any surface rust that might be on there off. Um, it's also going to oil or grease that axe at the same time. So I'm just going to rub that really good into the metal with this steel wool. And I'll apply it a couple of times just to make sure I get a good coating of wax on there. I want to make sure I get all the edges that are exposed. And then I'll just take a rag, you know, that I've got out of my shot bag. It's already a grease rag anyway that I use for wiping down my, my shotgun with. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing with that. I'll get it, you know, I'll move it around on here. I can even take this cake by itself, you know, and rub it on the handle just like this very easily. And then I can rub it in, you know, with this rag. And that'll help protect the wood. And I'll do that. And then I'll actually do the sheath as well exactly the same way. Now, if you wanted to, you know, if you had a new piece of leather, you could take a new piece of leather and you could just get this stuff all over it real good. You could put it in front of the fire, put it by the wood stove, and get that wax to soak into that leather, give it a good waterproof protectant coating. Um, and I did something very similar to this, you know, in another video in the 21st Century Long Hunter series, but, you know, everything is repetition is how you learn. And so I think some things are worth repeating, and the care of your tools and the maintenance of your leather and your equipment, your canvas, and things like that, those are all important aspects of self-reliance that we need to remember because I don't think sometimes they're stressed enough. You can hear that wax cake on, those, on that knurling on the handle now where it's been checkered. The other thing with this wax coating is it also helps you get a better grip on the axe. It'll also give you grip ability. It won't be slippery. Um, when you sweat, it's going to interact with that. and It'll make it a little bit more grippy for you, as well as protecting the wood. So it's just a bonus all the way around. But I wanted to kind of go over that with you today, and I wanted to show you this 
new product that Jeremy's working on. I think it's going to be really good. I think I'm going to call this thing uh, Jeremy's Wonder Wax or something. I <laughs> haven't come up with a funny name yet, but I'm going to come up with it. I'm going to try waterproofing some boots with this, an old pair of boots I got, and see if that works as well. But I wanted to go over a little bit about tool maintenance with you, and I wanted to show you the difference between the Grantsford Brooks Hunter's Axe and the Wetterling's Hunter's Axe because they are definitely two different animals, but they, again, are way two different prices as well. This one's not what I would call a common man axe. This is almost $200 compared to, you know, 75 or 80 or less for the Hunter's Axe.